Hey you guys, T Sponge here. So, this is something new. I was talking with one of my online friends, Elite Frenzy. There's gonna be a link to his channel in the description. As with most, as with a few of the other people on this server, you guys can find their YouTube channels. Uh, this is Crescent SMP. This is an SMP server. It's a private one. And I've got quite a few parts to this. I am not stopping playing on the Love server. You don't have to worry about that. If you are a player on the Love server, I'm going to be trying to be an even better admin on there. But this is just a place where I can chill with some other people that also do YouTube and have some fun and do some things I can't really do while I'm an admin on the Love server because I still want to be an admin on the Love server because I enjoy being an admin. And also I enjoy helping you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a little spoiler of what's to come. But yeah, hope you guys are going to enjoy this. If you do enjoy a new main series for this channel, then hit the like button. Obviously, when I say a main series, I mean like the ones probably going like, to dominate most of my channel, except for possibly Redstone. Um, that's because... Basically, the original Lover series has basically become nostalgia things now. Not that I'm not going to upload it every so often still. I'm still going to upload it like, like every so often. No, it's not exactly going to be like an important series though. Like Crescent is always going to be my main thing now. Honestly, it's already quite a nice place. And it, I start my setup in the first episode. Second episode I work on it a bit more. And I do like a few like little time lapse things where I gather some resources and um, make this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Have fun. His old house is up there. Do you want to record this? Uh yeah. Okay. Are you recording here? Yeah, I'm recording. Are you recording? Okay. So that that there's Fearless Slayer's old house, which he's gonna tear down. Yeah. This is new house, and over here we just have some. I'm gonna go Other fight the weather. See you guys. Um. Uh. <laughs> well. I don't know what he just did. He hung up the call and. He was just like, I'm gonna go fight with a bye. <laughs> <laughs> End of call. Uh. So there's a couple bases out there. If you see one, or if you see anything blown up, just leave it because we're yeah. in the progress of removing a whole bunch of bases out there okay. that people don't use anymore. Mm -hmm. And then that's pretty much it for this side of the server. Okay. So, um, there's quite a lot built over here then. Yeah, there's a little bit built. Mm -hmm. but not much. Um, if we come... Over here to the right, you're going to see a desert temple, like, way down there. Um, nobody's using that desert temple, so if you want to take over it and make it your base, go right ahead. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Um, anybody can do anything with that desert temple. Mm -hmm. um, this here is a small PvP arena that you can use. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> I'm just casually... Do you need any food? Uh, yeah, food would be decent. I've basically been eating raw chicken on the way. There you go. Thanks. PvP arena, yep. Mm -hmm. And if you want to take over that desert temple, you can. And then this here is spawn. Yep. So what spawn is, is it's got four paths going in each direction. So here's going to be mini games, shops, shops, and then community builds. Mm -hmm. And you can't build anything within this ring here. Because this is uh, these this is reserved for like death games, notice board, the horse stable, and what was this reserved for? Public storage room. Okay. So that's basically spawn. Before building a shop, contact Elite because he needs to like, um, I don't know what he does, but just contact him before building a shop, okay. and you can claim plots right here if you want to build a shop. So contact Elite before building your shop. Okay. Over here is the exchange post, which what I is what I did. Um, I think I might tear it down. It's pretty like 
banged up. It's in the way of spawn. Um, so, um, so down here is there's a mine down there, community mine that you can go and use. But here, if you have any blocks such as dirt, cobble, granite, diorite, or um, andesite that you don't want, you basically just put in this chest here. Any box that you don't want, you put in this chest here. And then if you want one, a stack of these blocks, put another stack in this chest here. So it's basically trading. People just keep trading back and forth and back and forth. That's pretty cool. So basically infinite resources then. Yeah. And then back here, there's actually an automatic um, sorting system. And anything that doesn't go into the sorting system, you can just take from this chest here. Cool. <laughs> and then... There's even more. If you come all the way down here, I spent hours doing the redstone for this. <laughs> um, there's an automatic way. If you if your inventory is full of cobblestone and dirt and stuff that you don't want, and you need the space for like iron or something, you put it all in this chest, and it'll automatically transport all of it up through this machine here, and it'll unload, and it'll go into the storage system. Oh. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> so, so, I guess like it works like with minecart. Like when it's filled up, it gives a power through this comparator. Um. Yeah. So this here, when it activates, when it comes in, it activates this um rail here, and it pushes a piston. And then when it's full, it triggers the comparator. And the um when the when there's no blocks left in the hopper, it triggers the comparator, and it the piston pulls back and lets it go. Ah, that's actually pretty cool. Hmm. Sort of like a minecart station, I guess. Yeah, and then it's got an unloading station up top. So feel free to yeah. use, use this mine and the trading post. Okay. But I'm probably gonna end up moving it, but for now it's still here. Okay. <laughs> Using the jump glitch. I don't know where he's gonna fight the weather. I hope far out. Yeah, hopefully not a spawn. That might be a bit. <laughs> I think he's taking it for his base, too, instead of spawn. <laughs> um, so over here is iBluesy's place. He's got just a nice small place here. He's got a tree farm. Yep. So it says, each 2 by 2 batch of trees give approximately 24 logs. Bluesy's tree farm replace. Please replace oak wood. Oh. oh. Oops. <laughs> so make sure you put the saplings in this chest and grow them. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and patch this up very, like, amazingly. Oh, that, that's bad. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Okay. But this is his house. And then down here is a horse tester. So you ride your horse from starting from way back here. You ride your horse on top of this. Right over top of the... Tr uh, pressure plate and it'll determine what speed you are and whatever speed that it stops at is the speed of your horse uh, Oh, I didn't actually think that's this is actually a really good way of doing it. That's because the slabs stop the horse but don't suffocate yeah. it, don't they? Yep That's that's nice So over here is Elite's massive place He's got a massive villager factory, which he never <laughs> uses <laughs> Yeah, villager factory, yeah and then he's got a small tree farm here. Uh -huh. He's got a sheep farm, which I'll just come over and read the instructions, or I don't know. Where is it here? Uh, welcome to Willard's Wolf Farm. The sheep in the pens are not meant to be killed, only sheared. How to use first climb the ladder and get your shears. And click the and click button to start shearing. When done, click button and receive your wool in the chest oh, assigned to color. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I just crashed. I like I went over and saw the signs. Whoa, like, there's two of wait, you. Wait, what? There's two of you. Wait. Oh no, now now the other what? one's gone. But there was two of you. <laughs> I just left the game. <laughs> there was two. But yeah, that's how you use this thing. Nice. And then, Elite has this chicken farm up here. This is this chicken farm is not to be used as the public, because he has a store that wood store at spawn. That's his chicken farm. So this is not to be used by the public, only for his store. Uh -huh. And then he's got this nice pond down here. 30 level enchanting table that you can use there. And then if you come down here, this is his nice spot down here. 
can do jump. Automatic doors. Yeah, those He's doors down nice. here. And Whoa. then like a... This actually is really cool. Oh, there's a leap. <laughs> <laughs> he's going out to fight the weather. Yep. <laughs> and then he's got a nice little spot down here with storage and stuff. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, at least got a really cool base. Okay. <laughs> uh, Grab some chicken. Yeah, I'm yep. gonna have to do quite a bit if I want to catch up with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, and then there's two other bases. Which are mine and... Awesome Laura F space. Okay. So if we come over here, Awesome Laura is on right. Laura's on. Oh, wait. So I just got a golden helmet off of a um off of a zombie. Oh. <laughs> My first. If you come over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is Laura. Has been working on it. She just joined the server yesterday, so she's also new to the server. Mm -hmm. Um, this is her base here. Did I leave my horse here? That's pretty good for one day, I've got to say. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a nice little starter base. I'm not sure where she is. She must be mining. Oh, free pus. Oh. Phew. There you go. And then the last base, which is mine, is up here. Oh, yep. spider. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's having some trouble with a new recording software that I showed him. <laughs> yeah. This here is the graveyard that I'm working on, so if a horse dies or anything, um, come here and you can bury him, the horse or the pig or whatever your pet was. <laughs> which I'm not done yet, I still gotta decorate and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, let's quickly come up to my base. Okay. Actually, I've been working on this for quite a while. So it's just a small base. I've got a horse. Um, I've got all my storage down here. Uh -huh. And then we have a nice spiral staircase coming down. Oh yeah, using a fence in the middle. Nice. <laughs> yep. This is sugarcane farm. We have a chicken farm here. Um, a cow farm here. And just yep. a little way so people don't um, come up here. And you can use this cow farm if you want to. Okay. And then same thing with the wheat farm back here, which it doesn't work that well. I might rebuild it, but for now it's pretty good. And then I'm also going to be adding like melon farms and pumpkin farms and cactus farms all along this path here. Nice. And then this tower, I'm going to remove the tower because I don't need it. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's basically the server. Nice. <laughs> so you can go ahead... Actually, I'll give you some wood here. Do you have the cord for the Desert Temple? Because I've gone which way it is. <laughs> or do you know what, what direction it is from spawn? Um, if you go to spawn... Here, I'll show you here. I'll take my horse over. There's some wood. Okay. I gotta go and get my horse from spawn anyway, so... <laughs> we'll head down. It's kind of left of spawn. Okay. So if you want to take that over, there was another member who wasn't uh, there. Yeah, and a member took it over early on, but then moved out. So okay. it's free now for anybody to use. Okay, so is it over in this direction to the desert, I guess? Yeah, it's over here. Cool. And th there's actually quite a few of them. I found four. Kind of. Yeah, f found four desert temples. Any diamonds? I'm guessing. Um, I'm not, I don't really remember how many. I just walked into a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so it's somewhere here. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Yeah, and there's another one. Um, behind it, there's actually another desert temple in a massive hill. Ooh. If you go behind it, so you can find a ton of them back there. Okay, I'm going to go take a look at that then. Well, like if you actually here come in here just for a sec. Okay. He's already got a doorway. It's actually all dug in out. Uh -huh. The person who lived here before actually did some work on it, so they dug it all out, and then they also did a spiral staircase hmm. coming down in this area, which is mm -hmm. kind of abandoned. <laughs> yeah. This is a pretty cool place. I'm 
I'm not sure though. I might go check out like the area of the other one as well. Okay. Like make sure it's not cool or anything. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so. And I think here. you can just take over all these chests here. I'm gonna take any andesite. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Huh. Um. Oh no. It's like in a hill. It's really hard to spot. Oh, uh, there's a big hill here, so. I guess it could be that. It's got a cave going through it. That's that's actually a really cool cave. Uh, cave's weird. That's like a really big cave. Went ahead. Um. It was like very hidden. A creeper uncovered it for me. Wow. What? Well, it was underground. Oh, there's one. All right. I I see it. I see it. Oh. Um, Did you find it? Oh, there you are. Oh yeah. Right in here. See how it's like. Its head is right in the hill. If you look back this way. Oh yeah. You right can there. see clay. Wow. Yeah. You can just see that the rest of it's completely underground. Oh, that must be really cool, a hidden base. A creeper blew up right in front of it and it uncovered for me because it just looked like it was a bunch of big sand hill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's actually not too far from spawn. Yeah, and it's in really good condition as well. <laughs> it it's basically nothing's really Happened to Except it. Except the chest has been raided, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's fine, though. I mean, that's expected, to be honest. Uh, yeah. It's... Okay, so I'm just going to get, like, basic stuff set up, I guess. Alright. Crafting table. I'm going to get some stone. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've done, like, mm. a basic survival from nothing. <coughs> it's quite fun, though, to be honest. Oh. About to uh, oh. <laughs> I actually <laughs> want to kind of go over. <laughs> Did he already post it? Mm, I want to no. see it. Where? I haven't heard the, no I haven't you? Heard the noise yet. <clears throat> I want to go over and brown. see. <laughs> yeah. He m Good luck with the... With I want to know where he is. <laughs> I'll help him fight it and grab some potions. Yeah. Oh, found stone. It's finally found stone. That's how good at mining I am. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, I found andesite. Oh, he must have um, already put the heads on because he's not talking. Under the junk, it's changing a str. Oh no. Uh, he's in the. He's in the junk exchange. Wait, is that? Isn't that a spawn or something? That's my build. Oh. Better not wreck it. <laughs> He's in your. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some potions and <coughs> yeah, make you... sure it doesn't come up on spawn. Yeah, you might want to do that. <laughs> Starting. All oh. right. I'll probably have it killed by the time I get over there. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> we spent hours in the Nether <laughs> trying to find the heads. I'm gonna start a blaze spawner, uh, blaze farm project here soon. Nice. I, I already. Like, where is iron? Please, iron. Uh, it's gonna be like my. It's gonna be like me playing SM, like me playing survival before all over again. It takes like 20 minutes to find iron. I grabbed two pots of healing and I'm gonna head over. I got arrows on me. Hmm. He's not spawning. <laughs> Place middle head last. Um, I'm gonna go over and s maybe. I don't think that's. It might have changed in the 1.8 update. Yeah, I'm not sure though. You can actually summon with with dispensers now, so that's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm at Y40 still. Like, oh, actually, yeah, I've got 10 iron. What am I talking about? Um. Uh. I hold 10 iron, so I'm gonna go make myself the iron pick. Right, I'm heading down to the junk exchange right now. Fair enough. He's at level 12. I'm in the desert, so I don't think I'm really gonna have Oh, to he spawned it! Oh. He spawned it! Really? I think so. I didn't get the noise, so I'm not sure. Right, it makes the brown noise. Oh, I see him! I see him! I see him! I'm coming! I'm coming, Elite! I'm coming! Is there a wither? Um. He's standing there looking scared. <laughs> oh, there's a wither! Oh, there's a wither! <laughs> uh -oh. 
I'm here to help. Here we yeah, go. He was no. Help. He's shooting me. Well, I should have brought a bucket of water. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, at least I think Elite was like he wanted to do it by himself, but sadly, like he's doing it in spawn. Like, like he's doing it under spawn. Um, I'm just gonna kind of very slow. You got to try and kill it quick. I'm, like, like. Oh, I, I got some redstone. <laughs> oh, and I'm withered. Yeah, I gotta go in. I think my first thing will probably be to get this place. Oh, I'm lit gonna up. die! I'm gonna die! Instant health. Uh -huh. Is he still there? Come on, elite, fight it, fight it! No, he's triggering. Uh, he's he's running away. Why is he leaving it for me? <laughs> Bit too kind. Oh, he's going in for it. Did he get it? GG. Wither down. Uh. <laughs> All right, there we go. First wither yeah. fight. Yay! That's the wither done. Now beacons for everyone. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now there's a massive hole. <laughs> <laughs> massive hole near junk exchange. Yay! Um. <laughs> Oh, he's giving me a whole visit and a sight. <laughs> I, I've forgotten how to get out of this desert temple. <laughs> oh. I guess you can maybe dig through. Now he's got to make a beacon. I'm wondering where... He might not have enough iron to make the whole beacon, though. Hmm. It would be nice if you put regen at spawn or something. <laughs> Probably not going to do that, though. No, I would say speed make... up. Found more melon seeds. I think that's good. Yeah, I think you should... Yeah, speed. I'd probably choose speed or haste because if you have haste two with an efficiency five, you instant break stone. I think he should do. If he's doing it for spawn, I would do speed. Yeah. And if he's doing it at his base, I would probably do speed as well. Or Maybe haste. Or resistance. Like resistance would be really good, so he doesn't die to space. Yeah. <laughs> well, that went steadily well. I'm gonna follow him. My armor got down quite a bit. I'm gonna make sure I remember <laughs> where I am by building a huge tower. <laughs> I say he must be recording right now, though, if he's fighting the wither. Yeah. Cause I can't see him not fight a wither. That should have been a community thing, not. But it's. Mm, it's a leak. He, <laughs> he farmed them, but I helped too. I helped a lot with the. <laughs> Did you know there's actually a way to create an ender dragon farm? There is? Yep. Hmm. Oh, it's he's a, got a ton of instant health. It's basically a really big glitch. Like, basically, hmm. like, if you leave the chunk that the Ender Dragon's, like, if you make it so you deload the Ender Dragon while he's dying, he dies infinitely yeah. over and over again. And so hmm. you get the XP every time. Okay. <laughs> oh, so if you, okay, so you leave the chunk. You basically, it's the best exper it's the best experience farm, but you have to have a living Ender Dragon. So. <laughs> and also you have to set, and it takes, like, hours to set up. It's kind of, it's kind oh, of he made crazy. the beacon! He made the beacon! Oh. He made it. Now we have to dig out a spot for him to put it. <laughs> he oh. made it. I wonder where he's going to put it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's uh, getting his blocks out right now. Mm -hmm. he, he had, like, everything ready for it. Yeah. Wait, where did he go? You just want like invis or something. Oh no, he was glitching. <laughs> I'm gonna make a stone shovel, get loads and loads of sand, and make a huge sandstone stout. Because, yeah. He keeps running back and forth. Oh, he's crafting blocks, that's what he's doing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he took all of his iron and all of his gold. <laughs> will the beacon reach to my base? I don't think it will. No. Like, at full power, it ranges like 50 blocks or something, as far as I know. My I think my base is like 100. Oh. Probably not, then. Uh. He keeps glitching and disappearing, like, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. 
he has been saying he's got like 10 FPS or something. Yeah, because he was here a second ago. Maybe he went up to the surface. I don't know. I want to know where he's going to put it. I think he should donate to spawn, but it is his beacon. Yeah, he did kind of kill a wither for it. But then we also helped him find those wither skulls. Like, Fair enough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh... Wait, I just broke. I just broke two blocks on a pickaxe with one durability, I think. He's in the middle of the... Oh, he's making it in the water. <laughs> Smart guy. In the water? Yeah, he's making it in the water. Oh, so you can mine faster underwater or something. Like Oh, this guy's smart. Oh whoops. Yeah. <laughs> GG! He did it! There's a beacon now. Beacon out of space in the middle of the water. I need glass now. He's gonna oh he's oh. dying the beacon colour. I think he should just leave it. <laughs> he probably make it like purple or something knowing him. Um, yeah, you should do speed. Hmm. Yeah, speed is pretty helpful. He's, you do haste. Speed, yeah, yeah, that's good. I thought so. This is elite after all. Yes, it is. He prefers, he prefers like, fast movement, probably. I... I'm my my headset's about to die, so I'm gonna go and get the charging cord. Okay, I'm gonna. I just need to do something as well, very quickly. Probably gonna end up this episode as well. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Yep. That was the episode. See you in the next one.